Hi, apart from the hard parameters, which are the azimuth, the tilt, the antenna height, there are certain soft parameters which we can tweak to improve the coverage or optimize the coverage. Now in downlink, there are certain parameters which we can look into, such as the first one is the, what is the minimum required level, received level, which we can define for the user to achieve this particular threshold to have a communication with the base station. Now, this is also known as QRX level min. Now, its value is ranging from NEC 44 to NEC 156 dBm. What does it mean? If we are putting up a threshold, say a very low threshold, which is NEC 156, it, it means it is we are allowing user to connect to the network when it is really in a very bad coverage area. And we don't want it to happen. On the other side, we don't want user to connect or limit to just maybe NEC 50 or NEC 60 dBm because we want to actually leverage whatever the good coverage area is available. So we find a threshold somewhere around between 110 to 130, where we can say that, okay, if the user is between this particular threshold, he or she will be able to connect to the network. Otherwise, not. So this threshold is very important. We need to optimize it and put it, you know, the fine tune it. Now the next parameter we have is a Pmax, which is a maximum output power. So if you remember the radio module we were talking about in the link budget, we were having 43 dBm as a transmit power from the radio module. So we can increase or decrease it. We can go to 47.8, we can go to 49 dBm. But again, this is to be properly designed and optimized. We cannot we cannot keep on increasing the power everywhere because it can it can lead to the interference in the network. We don't want that. So it can go up to 60 dBm, but we don't want it to be at a 60 dBm. So again, we have to optimize these values depending upon the requirement. If the cell height is the base station height or the antenna height on the base station is very high, in that case, probably we don't want to give a very high output power in that case. But mind it, it is not only that physical uh, position of the of the antenna it also signifies that what are the powers to be allocated among all the different channels we talked about the different physical channel in the downlink so this is the total power which will be distributed among all the different channels so we need to ensure that it should be it shouldn't be too less it shouldn't be too high now next to that what normally happens if we have the reference signals are or we want to increase the coverage somehow but we don't want to increase the max output power so in that case we have a way out in that case we can increase or boost the reference signal only